Okay, so this will be a fairly quick video. Um, a new method of arbitrary code execution has been discovered by, I believe, Lucky Typelosion. I know at least that Lucky Typelosion did the setups for this, uh, which I will link in link in the description. Um, so what you need is dash gm and Depending on which setup you're using, which varies from language version to language version of the game and also from point you're executing code from, a second item. In the case of what I'm doing, which is English, red and blue, either, either is fine. Um, and I'm going to execute from the second inventory slot. I need this item, QR4HI. Now, dash GM has a hex ID of 6A and QR4HI has a hex ID of 9D. Now, to set this up, all you gotta do is open the use and toss menu here on whichever item is the second item you needed in my case QR4HI then cancel right out of the menus and get a Pokemon that's given to you through the give Pokemon event which I believe the Eevee in Celadon works any of the game corner prizes works and there's a few other places at work. The easiest one is the Game Corner Abra, which in Pokemon Blue is 120 coins and Pokemon Red is 180 coins. So, so anyway, you open the use menu on your second item, you get your Pokemon, and then you name it according to the setup in my case, I need to name it MMCA, female symbol, PK symbol. Now you have to make sure you don't write anything to any of the slots after the last one that you're using for the name. That is very important because it overwrites um, stuff in the buffer that is put there when you open the use, menu, use toss menu on the other item. So, once you've named your Pokemon, all you gotta do is give it to the daycare man. And you should be able to execute arbitrary code from slot 2. However, if you have 2 or 18 Safari Balls in the Safari Zone, this will not work properly. Because they write, cause that would load data to uh, the addresses that are stored in, I believe, BC or DE? Is it BC or... Um... Yeah, I think it is B... Yeah, it is BC. It writes stuff to BC or DE, which I believe are in a very low address range and most likely... Uh, for, from, this, from these setups and would most likely crash your game. Um... So if you have 2 or 18 Safari Balls, then don't do this. Basically, use one more Safari Ball before you try to execute code from GM. However, there's one more thing about this. When you go to the Safari Zone, if you run out of balls, obviously the number of balls is going to be zero. Um, if you run out of time, the number of balls is set back to zero. However, if you use the leave early option, the number of balls is 
going to stay the amount that it already was. So if you leave early with 2 or 18 balls, ACE won't work using this method until you go back to the Safari Zone and either leave with a different number of balls to one of those two values, or run out of steps or balls. Well, I mean it won't work outside the Safari Zone. Obviously it'll work once you have 30 balls again, it will work, but... You know, as long as, long as the value isn't stuck at 2 or, at two or 18, which is hex 1, 2, by the way, um, it should work. So, that's that. Um, thanks for watching. The next video will be... Um, me going more into this, into the technical side of what's going on here. And probably my suggestion for how to make it run from D322 instead of D320, which is item slot 3, which is the same slot that 8F uses. Um, all the eight, most of the usual 8F setups use. So until then, uh, see you next time.